today we're gonna go through my concealers i have the lid of a box and that's where i normally would store them because i didn't have anything that really fit my drawer so i decided to put them in here but as you guys can see i have a ton of concealers so today we're gonna go through each and every one of them and then i'm gonna get rid of some same as per usual i'm just gonna make two piles one for donations and another one for just throwing out because some of them are expired so that's what we're going to be doing today the first one that i have here is the nars soft matte complete concealer and i have mine in the shade light 2.6 cafe con leche this one i purchased it not that long ago i have a review on the foundation this is what the color looks like now i have not tried this yet so this one i am gonna keep the next one that i have here is the Too faced born this way concealer but this one is actually very very old so since i got a brand new one i got it in a different shade as you guys can see i've used a ton of it i think i have it down to here this one is gonna go to the trash and i'm just gonna keep this one the shades are different i have short breath for the new one and i had vanilla for the old one the shade short breath is a little more on the yellow side and the shade vanilla was a little bit more pink i normally like to have two shades of the same concealer normally i get one that's more yellow tone to kind of brighten and another one a little bit more pinky peach tone just to cancel out any darkness under my eyes and this one are from NYX. These are the Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. This is actually very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Concealer. I have mine in the shade Vanilla and in the shade Natural. And this concealer is actually really good if you are on a budget. So these two are gonna stay. Another one that I have double is the Dust of Color Meet Your Hue Concealer. And I have mine in the shade 10 and in the shade 13. Same. One it's a little bit more yellow tone and the other one it's a little bit more on the pinkish undertone so i like to mix this two together to get that really nice brighten effect and this concealer is actually really good so these two are gonna stay the next concealer i have here is this one by pretty vulgar this is called the undercover little white lies and this is what it looks like i think i have mine in the shade 60 and this is what it looks like i honestly didn't like this concealer because it's a concealer that it disappear as you blend it out i don't know if you guys could see it but you can hardly get any coverage and it doesn't wear very nicely so that's one of the reasons why i didn't like it i also didn't like that it didn't last a very long time even on, on the days that i would apply it whether with my finger the brush the sponge i just didn't really enjoy it so this one it's gonna go the next concealer i have here is the color pop no filter concealer now this one i personally don't like it as a concealer i normally use it as a eyeshadow base and as you guys can see i've used a ton of it this one it's actually in the wrong spot so i am gonna move this to my other drawer the next concealers i have here are these from armani and this is the luminous silk concealer i have the shade three and the shade four this formula is amazing so this one is gonna stay the next concealer i have here is this one by revlon and this is the color state concealer i tried this in for one of my videos where i did a full face of revlon i don't think it's a bad concealer but it's definitely not my favorite so i rather to pass this along so this one it's gonna go the next concealer i have here is this one by ColourPop, and this is a pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer this concealer is actually really good especially if you are the type of person that doesn't like high coverage something like this comes very very handy i have mine in the color light 50w and right now it's just a little too dark for me but i normally like to use this shade in the summertime because that's when i get the most tan so this one is gonna stay i just can't use it right now the next concealer i have here is the revlon photo ready candied concealer i have it in the shade 01 banana and and this one is supposed to be a very yellow concealer and it's supposed to brighten up the skin i feel like this type of concealer is for somebody that has a more mature skin that doesn't want a lot of coverage but you want something that is very very hydrating this concealer would be perfect but for me for the amount of coverage that i like this is not something that i reach for so this one i am going to give it away the next concealer i have here is the classic tarte 
shape tape now i have mine in the color light medium and this color as you guys could see it's a little too dark for me even in the summertime i thought it would be perfect but it turns out it's not and it has a very strange undertone so i am gonna pass this one to someone else stained with tart shape tape i actually have another one and this one i have it in the shade 20 light sand this one it's a lot lighter and it has more of that yellow undertone so i am gonna keep this one and i'm just gonna get rid of the other one as you guys can see the shade difference is actually quite large next i have the it cosmetics bye bye under eye full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer and i have mine in the shade 11 light nude now this concealer actually it's really good but there is definitely a learning curve it has a very thick consistency so what i normally like to do is i like to apply it in the back of my hand and then i just let it get warm a little bit and i start tapping it into my hand and then into my eye and as you can see it's definitely full coverage it does take a little bit of time to get the hang of it but once you do it's a really really good concealer it actually dries more in a satin finish it's not completely matte but you definitely don't need to set it with powder if you don't want to because once it sets it locks in place and it doesn't move so this one is definitely gonna stay another very high coverage concealer is this one by huda beauty this is the overachiever concealer and i have mine in the shade 6g one of the reasons why i really enjoy this concealer other than obviously the coverage is because of its applicator it has this little metal under eye applicator that gets very cool to the touch so it's very great for in the mornings when you just wake up and you're trying to get ready because since it is very cool it helps you to deep puff the under eye and it just generally applies very very nicely now this one you do have to be careful because it can get cakey pretty quickly so as long as you apply a very small amount and you blend it using your fingers a sponge or even the applicator it looks very very pretty so this one is also gonna stay now moving from the squeezy tip concealers we have the clinique even better all over concealer and eraser and the eraser is this sponge that comes on top it comes with a little lid and then when you open it up this is what it looks like i actually like the applicator on this concealer this concealer has some more medium to full coverage i have mine in the shade w and 16 buff and this is what it looks like and i like it more for those days that i don't want to apply any foundation and i just want to apply concealer i think this one is great it's also very stretchy so when you smile or stuff like that i don't notice that it settles into lines or that it creases or anything like that so overall i think this one is really good and it also gonna stay one of my most used and definitely my favorite concealer is this one by Pat McGrath and this one is the skin fetish sublime perfection concealer I have mine in the shade L5 and I've only had it for a few months and as you guys could see I've used quite a ton of it definitely my favorite concealer the next one is this one by Dior and this is a forever skin correct in the shade 1w I actually have a review on this concealer so I'm not gonna talk too much about it but I am definitely gonna keep it this next one is by Tarte and this one is the Hydro Sealer in 20S Light Sand. This one I feature in my Black Friday haul and I actually haven't had a chance to try it so this one is definitely going to be staying and I will be telling you guys a little bit more about it once I try it. Up next I have the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in the shade L300 Golden Ivory. Now this concealer is really really good. It has really nice coverage. It's very creamy so easy to blend and I like to keep this in my collection i noticed that sometimes shape tape could be a little bit drying so something like this is good to mix in with shape tape up next i have the benefit boing cakeless concealer in the shade 5 i like this concealer because this is another one that's very creamy it goes under the eye very smoothly it doesn't crease it doesn't look cakey it doesn't have as much coverage as other concealers that i own but it is very creamy so it makes it perfect for those of you that have more of a dry under eye this is the elf hydrating chemical concealer in the shade light sand it was very interesting when i tried it because i had tried the original elf camo concealer and i hated it it looks so cakey under my eye no matter what i paired it with it never looked good so i was a little skeptical when i got this one but honestly this one is a complete opposite than the regular camo concealer this one goes on so smoothly no matter what powder i put on top it always looks good it's just a really nice affordable concealer so this one is definitely gonna stay up next i have this one from joa cosmetics and this is the one me up concealer in the shade sand this one is brand new 
I've been having it in my drawer for quite a while and I think I'm gonna use it. So I'm just gonna give it away to friends and family. Next, I have the Kosas Revealer Concealer in the shade 3.5. This concealer I got it not that long ago and I am so in love with it. This one is formulated with caffeine, peptides, and hyaluronic acid. So that was some of the ingredients that caught my attention. It has very nice coverage. It says that it's a medium coverage, but for me, it's more a medium to full coverage because neutralize the under eye and it goes on so smoothly so this has become one of my favorites so this one is definitely gonna stay and speaking of my favorite concealers i have the mac pro longwear concealer and i have this one in the shade nc20 now this has been one of my all-time all-time favorites i mean i've been buying this concealer for more than 10 years one of the reasons why i really enjoy this concealer is because of its consistency out of all the concealers that i've ever tried i've never found something that is so lightweight but it has incredible coverage as this one does especially on those days that i don't want my makeup to look too heavy this concealer is such a game changer it's so thin so lightweight so this one is definitely gonna stay the next concealer i have here is this one by jordana and this one is take cover full coverage concealer and this is what it looks like as you guys can see it has a nice color it's very affordable i have mine in the shade 07 beige you can get this at walgreens but honestly after i tried it i don't think it has as full coverage as it promised it does and i don't reach for it as much as i would like to so i rather to donate this one to somebody else that might be able to use it a little bit more than i do so this one it's gonna go next i have the Ilia true skin serum concealer and i have a review on this line where i did the foundation the concealer among other products although it has really good ingredients i'm not a huge fan of the coverage and how it wears on my skin i believe that this type of concealer is more for people that have a very very dry skin that have they're very allergic to a lot of ingredients and stuff like that my skin is more normal so i don't have an issue with those kinds of things like in terms of ingredients and whatnot so for me this is something that even though i try to make it work it didn't work for me and for the amount of money that it costs and stuff like that this is not something that i reach for so i think i'm gonna pass this one to my mom she's allergic to the sun overall she has very sensitive skin so i think some Something like this would be perfect for her next i have the hourglass banish concealer in the shade cotton this concealer has really nice coverage and it has a very creamy consistency i really enjoy the applicator on this one and i also like the finish that it leaves the under eye so if you are somebody that has dry skin this would be perfect also if you have oily skin you can also use it you just have to make sure that you set it with the setting powder but other than that this one it's a really good concealer so this one is gonna stay next I I have the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer and I have mine in the shade Weed. This concealer has a more matte finish and it's actually very very similar to the ColourPop concealer that I use for my eyes. I really enjoy this. The only problem that I have with it is that it's very very matte so I can only use it during the summer when my skin tends to be a little bit more oily. So that's the only downside to this but other than that it has very very amazing coverage. It lasts a very long time. I was actually very surprised with the word time on this concealer so this one is gonna stay next i have the makeup revolution conceal and hydrate concealer and i have mine in the shade c3 now i've been having such a hard time to try to find a shade that really works for my skin tone normally these concealers for makeup revolution tend to have a very pink undertone the formula is really good i've tried to mix it with other things but i'm just gonna let this one go because i like i said the color is way too light it's way too pink and it really doesn't work for me unless i mix it with something else same makeup revolution and this one is a conceal and the fine infinite and i have this one in the shade c6 and i have the exact same problem even though this is three shades darker than the other one it's still very pink and still very light so i can't really use them i really have a hard time trying to get a shade on this concealer so this one it's gonna go up next i have the natasha tenona transfect matte concealer in the shade 7y and also the beauty blender bounce airbrush liquid with concealer in the shade 2.20 light olive this i showcased in haul video and i have not tried them yet so this ones are gonna stay next i have the iborian baby crayon concealer and touch up stick and I have mine in the shade nude now this one is actually a really nice concealer is a hybrid between an eye cream and a concealer or foundation however you want to use it the shade is a little too light and that's one of the downsides there's only four shades available so not a lot of people can get their shade match but other 
other than that it's actually really nice to wear underneath foundation because like i said it is a skincare and makeup hybrid it wears very nicely and it goes on very smooth and it has a really nice coverage so this is another one that i am gonna keep speaking of skincare and concealers i have the first day beauty hello bendy avocado concealer in the shade three now i've only used it a few times but the shade three it's a little bit too dark for me right now this would be a color that i would be able to use during the summertime but the few times that i've tried it is actually very very creamy and hydrating so if you have very dry skin something like this would be perfect it doesn't have a crazy amount of coverage but it it does cover it i think it would be more everyday type of concealer but like i said i haven't tried it long enough to give you a full opinion on it but i am excited to continue to play with it in the summertime next i have the dragon beauty dragon fire color corrector in the shade orange i actually got this item in one of my boxy charms this is a product that you normally use to correct any darkness underneath your eyes or if you have any discoloration that is pretty pigmented this one helps to correct blue and purple undertones i personally don't do any color correcting my under eyes don't get really dark or they're not super pigmented for me this is not an item that i normally use so this one i am gonna get rid of it next i have the maybelline instant h1 in the shade 100 and the milani conceal and perfect long wear concealer in the shade 150 light nude now these are brand new i recently repurchased them i am planning on working on a one brand tutorial for maybelline and also milani which is why i have not opened this yet so these are gonna stay next i have the revolution pro brightening and tightening under eye concealer this one comes in only one shade and this is supposed to be a dupe to the ysl to chocolat all over brightening concealer pen now i wouldn't say that they're completely dupes they are similar in terms of coverage and consistency but i don't think that these are complete dupes i am planning to just use it up okay so now that we're done with all the liquid concealers now we're gonna go through the creams or like the little pots that i have and the first one i have is the becca under eye brightening corrector i really enjoy this one because it has it's a color correcting item but it's very light the pink salmony tone that it has is very it's very subtle it helps to counteract that darkness under your eye but it doesn't add any texture or it doesn't make your under eye look heavy heavy or anything like that it's actually very nourishing and i like to use this product whenever i'm not using any makeup and i just want something to really brighten up my under eye it really just helps to correct and it brightens and it just makes you look more awake so this one is definitely going to stay and i've been having this for a while and i really really enjoy it the next concealer is the Marc Jacobs Accomplice Concealer in the shade Light 20. Concealers in a stick tend to be very high coverage and they have more of a matte finish. And this one is no exception. It has an amazing coverage. The finish, it is a little bit more matte, but if you have combination skin or dry skin, you just need to really hydrate the under eye before you apply it. And it wears very nicely. It lasts a very long time. Like I said, it does dry more in a matte finish. So I normally don't like like to apply any powder on top but in case that you want to you can if you have very oily skin i think this product would be perfect for you not only because it has a very high coverage but also because it dries in a matte finish and it lasts a very long time so overall this has become one of my favorite concealers and i continue to reach for it especially on those days that i want a more full coverage makeup so this one is definitely gonna stay and speaking of matte and full coverage concealers i have the Too faced matte instant coverage concealer concealer in the shade nude this is a very nice concealer it does have a scent if you are familiar with the Too Faced peach collection you know that most of the products are scented so if you are sensitive or you just don't like your products to have any fruity kind of scent you might not like this but if you don't mind the scent this has an amazing cover especially if you have acne scarring or acne spots it's really good to cover those another reason that i really enjoy this concealer is because normally these type of concealers i like to use them to clean up the brow or to kind of like prep my nose normally my nose tends to be very oily so applying something like this under my foundation tends to hold it a little bit better so overall this is really good and this one is definitely gonna stay and speaking of acne i have the revolution conceal and fix ultimate coverage concealer with salicylic acid and i have mine in the shade medium sand so this concealer is actually really good because it does have salicylic acid so if you have acne 
prone skin or you have active breakouts this type of concealer is really good because not only it conceals but it also treats the imperfection while you wear it so that's one of the reasons why i really enjoy it now this concealer has a better undertone and a better color i was actually able to find something that really matched my skin so it could last you a very long time and again it has really good coverage so this one is also gonna stay finally i have the glossier stretch concealer in the shade g9 it was actually very surprised with the amount of coverage that this concealer has normally glossier is known to have a very light coverage in their products but this one actually has a lot of coverage i am working on a full face of glossier so that i can show you guys multiple products that i own from the brand so stay tuned for that so this is how the drawer looks like as you guys can see i combined it with my primers i have a video where i declutter my primers in case you guys are interested but this is what it looks like as you guys can see i got rid of a lot of the stuff the box is actually a lot smaller than what i had before these are the products that i'm gonna be getting rid of as you guys can see these two are definitely going to the trash because those are old and the rest i'm gonna donate to friends and family so i am very happy with everything that i'm getting rid of because it's things that i definitely don't use i hope this video was helpful i hope you guys enjoy it please don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one bye